UFC 114, Rampage, Evans, May 29th. Check your local listings. You gonna be some more black on black crime? Sugar Rashad Evans and Quentin Rampage Jackson, two former light heavyweight champions, will finally face off inside the octagon in one of the biggest grudge matches in UFC history. A fight destined to happen ever since UFC 96. Seconds after beating Keith Jardine, teammate Rashad Evans entered the octagon, seeking an opportunity to avenge his partner's loss. The two met face to face in the middle of the octagon for a verbal exchange. I'll be a hundred times better than what I was today. Watch. Watch. Be well rested for your ass. I'm gonna knock you clean out. I do the first punch. Don't say that, Rashad. Don't say that. I, put my hands down. I don't want green guy. I don't want it. I want the first world. Okay. Come your best, baby. I think Rampage, in my opinion, won that exchange. Who's gonna win the fight? Man, that's that's really truly anybody's guess. What started out as post-fight confrontation quickly escalated into a public and long-standing feud that grew even more contentious while competing against each other during season 10 of The Ultimate Fighter. I was supposed to fight you. You didn't take the fight. The Dana said, the Dana said Rashad said, I wanna keep my belt longer. You take the fight in May? No, I ain't taking okay, it. Okay, man. Well, 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 well. I ain't taking it. I ain't talking that much because I can't wait to beat that's the good. brakes that's off you, boy. I was convinced that it was going to turn into a brawl. I can fight you with your style and still beat your ass. Both these guys genuinely hate each other. Now, I want you to show up and be confident right now. So I can serve right your ass. You would never serve me. Sugar Rashad Evans trains out of Albuquerque, New Mexico with Jackson Submission Fighting. His training partners include some of the best talent in the UFC. Nate Marquardt, Kenny Florian, Shane Carwin, Keith Jardine, and John Jones. Rashad Evans not only trains with Greg Jackson and all those guys down in New Mexico, but also spends time up in Montreal training with George St. Pierre and Farah Sahabi. George St. Pierre is a vital asset in the training camp of Rashad Evans. George St. Pierre offers the, stylistically the type of game plan that George uses in his fight is exactly the, the type of game plan that Rashad should employ in the Quentin Rampage fight. All right, guys, good work. Good work. The former UFC light heavyweight champion has shown an undeniable determination to once again stand on top of the 205 pound division. And at UFC 114, he aims to take one step closer to the title. In his fight against Tiago Silva, Evans entered the octagon a greatly improved fighter, ready to show off his takedown and grappling skills. A strong deviation from the stand up and striking style of his previous fight. Sugar! Rashad! with a renewed sense of purpose. Sugar Rashad Evans looks to take out the one man who stands in his way at another shot at the light heavyweight title. I ain't going nowhere. Quentin Rampage Jackson looks to silence his biggest critic and much hated rival at UFC 114. You being you. You being me. Selfish. You have no idea, man. Jackson trains at the United Kingdom's Wolf's Lair Academy, practicing alongside notable UFC fighters like Michael Bisping and Czech Congo. For Quentin Rampage Jackson, he really wants that title back. Man, that's that good as hell. Rampage's fight history is an impressive one, with wins over Dan Henderson and Keith Jardine, and intense knockout victories over MMA legends Chuck Liddell and Vanderlei Silva. What started as a mild confrontation turned into a heated rivalry. And finally, true hatred will explode inside the octagon in the biggest grudge match of the year at UFC 114. I'm gonna go out there and I'm, I'm gonna take it to him. 
I'm going to look for the finish. I'm going to look for a knockout or submission. Stylistically, Bisping has shown many times he doesn't mind trading with people, and I think these two are going to mix it up. The fans are going to see a fantastic fight, and they're going to see me going out there and fight like a madman. Uh, I'm going to fight like I fight every other fight. I'm going to take it to him. I always go out and just attack, and it's going to be an all-out war. Michael Bisping is one of those guys that is a natural fighter. He has that exciting blend of tenacity and discipline and intelligence and, and confidence that really makes him an exciting fighter to watch. I've trained very, very hard for this fight. I feel focused mentally and physically. I'm in a fantastic place and, and I'm going to beat this guy. I'm going to win this fight. Bisping is a very well-rounded guy. He's got good stand-up and He's actually a really good wrestler. If you look back to when he fought Rashad Evans, people don't give him enough credit for stopping Rashad's shot, and, you know, not letting him take him down. And when he did get down, he'd get right back up. And his jiu-jitsu is phenomenal. I know there's a lot of people that are criticizing me as a fighter. And so this fight for me, I want to beat this guy. I want to beat him well. I'm going to crush him. Just Crush him in the first round and prove that I am one of the best in the world and shut those people up, you know. Michael Bisping always comes in in incredible shape. He pushes a tremendous pace, he's very aggressive, he's one of those guys that is uh, very athletic. I want to put an exciting fight on for the fans, and I've definitely got what it takes to submit him on the ground. I can get him in a position where I'll hit him that many times, the referee has no choice but to stop it. He might not be unconscious, but he'll be taking that much punishment for his own good, the ref will stop the fight. <laughs> This fight's going to be something that uh, you know everyone's going to be talking about. You know, it's going to be one of those fights where I'm going to go in and I'm going to smack him in the mouth. I'm in there to win. I'm in there to finish my opponent. Holds him down. He's down. He's down. He's down. He's down. He's down. Over. Very Dan Miller with the rear naked choke. I like to push the pace, go forward, just keep going, keep attacking, and uh, I think he's going to match up real well. Him coming forward, me coming forward, it's going to be a clash right in the middle of the ring. Good body shots by Miller. I think I'm much more well-rounded than him. Dan has uh, an excellent jiu-jitsu game. He's a black belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. His stand-up is crisp and sharp, very technical. He's got a lot of heart, and he's willing to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. I, I guarantee he's going to be right in Bisbing's face going after him. I'm going to stand in with him and bang it out. If, you know, if I feel I have to take it to the ground, it's going to go to the ground. He's dangerous in all areas of the game. He's very explosive, athletic. It's a very big chance for Dan because he's coming in against a dangerous guy. You're talking about a guy who's faced Vanderlei Silva. He's faced some of the very best fighters in the world. I'm looking to win this one and then uh, move up the ladder, prove that I'm willing and ready to be here. I know what he's about. I've seen what he can do. He better train hard because I'm coming at him 100%. There's nothing about him that, that scares me. Uh, I'm just going to stick punches in his face. You know, I'll go in there, beat him up, and uh, get my hand raised. Right now, all I'm thinking about is a win. It gets me back on track. I'm back to where I was, you know, in title contention. Back up, dude. I'm going to knock you clean. Yeah. Ow. Yeah. I'll give you the first punch, my brother. I'm gonna make you quit. I'm I ain't quit, quit nothing. That's what you do, you quit. I'm right here right now, your mother face. I want you to show me to be confident. Right now. So I can I'm serve your ass. I've never served you. Oh. You're too slow. And your head too big and it's too easy to hit. You're gonna be too black on black crime! That's it,